Welcome to 5 Minutes of Peace, a time for you to reflect, recharge, and renew. 5 Minutes for you to learn more so you can be more and do more. Just the time you need to awaken something within yourself. This podcast is created by thepeaceroom.love, a Reiki healing and training center in Boise, Idaho. And so, with that, here is today's message for you. These mindfulness tips are from the Heartfulness Magazine in an article titled, Start the New Year Right. The start of the new year often feels like a period of rebirth. It is a reset of the clock, a fresh start that allows us to take inventory on the status of the past year, to celebrate its wins, and to honor areas of growth and improvement that can be carried into the following year. December seems to be the prime month for everyone and everything, from family members to friends to commercials to self-care articles, to ask us the ever-pressing and slightly stressful, bold-lettered question, what is your New Year's resolution? I am what I call a recovering resolution-making over-enthusiast. In the past, every time the last week of December came around, I would evaluate my year and write up a very lengthy, very unrealistic resolution list. I was determined to stick with it. Come January, I would successfully go gung-ho on my list for a few weeks, only to find myself quickly burning out on my goals. March, April, May would fly by, and that long resolution list I made back in December would find itself in a corner of my life collecting dust. Discouraged, I would forget about my goals completely, resolving that next year would be the year that I tackled all of my resolutions. It took a few instances for me to realize that there were two issues with the way I was handling things. One, I was doing too much and expecting too much all in too little time. Two, I was looking at my resolutions as insurmountable mountains that I needed to climb instead of simply as habit building. That's all resolutions are really, habit building. I needed to rebuild my habits in the same steady way I built my meditation practice, gradually, with ease, and intentionally. Once I reframed resolutions as habits, it became easier to take them off the pedestal and implement them into my routine. Here are a few tactics that have helped me build habits throughout the year. One, define what your goal is and why it is significant. What is the purpose of your resolution? Why is it significant in bettering your life? Write it out. It helps to understand what it is that you are trying to achieve. Two, what steps can you take to get there? Instead of jumping right in, write out actionable steps that you can take to achieve your goal. When I started to incorporate meditation into my routine, I first started with five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening. As I grew comfortable with those five minutes, I kept adding on an additional five minutes until I could sit for 30 to 40 minutes. Taking those steps helped to build the habit and improve upon it. Three, what does success look like for this resolution at one month? Three months, six months, nine months, and a year. What progress would you like to see in yourself with this habit throughout the course of the year? Mile marking goals helps us set easy points of achievement throughout the year. Four, track your progress. Tracking your progress allows you to be accountable for your progress. A few years ago, I took up bullet journaling, a record keeping method that allows you to design how you want to track your goals and to-do lists. I used this method as a way to record how I was doing with each aspect of the heartfulness practice. When I saw how it helps me keep up with my meditation practice, I started to use bullet journaling as a way to manage all of my habits. Five, be flexible and allow your goals to change as you and your year changes. Part of habit building is allowing your goals to change and adapt with you as you grow throughout the year. We often have a fixed version of what our end results should be and get frustrated when those expectations don't meet reality. I am learning how to allow for flexibility with those goals as they evolve in the same way I do. Six, willpower, willpower, willpower. No goal can be achieved unless you take interest in yourself and apply willpower toward its success. Commit to your goal and don't stop until you achieve it.
Thank you for listening, and thank yourself for taking five minutes of peace. We are all connected on a path of love, service, and peace for ourselves and others. We're glad to be together with you on this path. And if you would like to know more about the Peace Room and our Reiki treatments, crystal healings, training sessions, and certification workshops, go to www.thepeaceroom.love. Join us here again whenever you need five minutes of peace.